What's up guys, how are you doing today? Today, we're down at the lake right now. Got Coda with me. And I went fishing this morning, bass fishing. I didn't have any luck. So uh, I'm gonna try a little bit of cat fishing right now. It's a little bit later in the day. It's like almost seven o'clock. It's like not too much longer, so I'll be setting. Where the hell is the dog going? But uh, I gotta restring all these poles because the line on all these poles is like real bad. You can really tell it's like turning yellow and shit. It sat out all in the weather for probably a year or so now. So I think it's time to place all the line. So I'm gonna go ahead. I'm just using some cheap ass line. I don't even know where I put it. I'm using this cheap ass Zebco eight pound line. I just found it laying around because these are kind of like my junk poles. And I just keep these around for cat fishing and carp fishing and crappie fishing at the dock. Like they're just my dock fishing rods, so I don't really care about them. I just leave them out and whatnot because they're just like all a bunch of junk poles that I've collected over the years. It's like they're all Franken poles. There's, there's one pole where it's all original stuff, which is that one. All these are all Franken poles. That's why I like comics, except for that. My This is my first bait cast I ever got. Probably should put that somewhere nice. <clears throat> but uh, yeah. I'm gonna go and reline all these poles, throw them out there, see if I can't get something. Alright guys, I'm gonna show y'all. This is my favorite way to take the line off of poles that you want to change the line on. This is what I always did, because it's the fastest way. First, take the hooks off, it's probably break off. Yep. That's how easiest line is breakable. But uh next open up the reel and then I just grab a bottle and then you can just take it. <coughs> Maybe go ahead and pull it. Sometimes I pull it through the eyes already. Makes it a little bit easier. Go ahead and pull it through the eyes of the fishing rod and then just kinda wrap it around a bottle. This makes it so much easier. And then you just do that and you just wrap it around the bottle. It makes it a little bit easier to do it any other way. Alright, guys, I got a line off the poles. These are all my franken poles I got right now. I had a couple more, but they just broke over the time. <laughs> so we're down to the lucky three. I've actually had some like where the uh, fish will take them out of the holders. So have had that happen before. Lost poles, but I'm going to restring these with this cheap ass fucking eight pound Zebco line because. I'm not about to put some fucking expensive shit on here. And uh, let's go and get that done. That's how I go and get some damn poles out before it gets too fucking dark because sun's already setting. I only got like a couple more minutes to do this before it gets dark out. It's always the shittiest part of the year is restringing all these fucking poles. I hate doing this every single year because it takes so long to do it. So damn long. It's time consuming taking the line off. It's time consuming putting the line on. Then you gotta rig up every single one of these poles with something. Nice, easy to put on two little split shot sinkers and a hook. I can't remember what size I put on. It's been a while since I had to buy some, so I don't really remember. I just kinda. I know what it looks like if I see it, but I couldn't like tell you what size it is. Got my good old steak knife down here. That's like the boat dock special. Every boat dock's gotta have a steak knife for cutting bait. I'm 
I hope I got enough line. I think I do. I think there's more than enough here. Hoping. Coda's freaking out right now. His ball, I think, on the damn water. I always like putting a bunch of line on these poles because usually about halfway through the summer I'll just cut off like a hundred feet of it, just cut off that top layer of line because I'd leave these poles out like all year round, like summer, winter, fall, fucking everything. I mean, you could tell these reels would like fucking jump, but it makes it fun fishing though because like when you're out here catfishing, it's so boring and then when you catch that one catfish, it's like so exciting so it makes it a little bit more fun when you got a shitty pole and you're like trying not to break the line or anything like that it makes it a little bit more fun makes it more interesting because usually the catfish don't fight a whole lot and it just makes it a little bit more fun I mean they'll fight but just regular channel cats they don't really put up that good of a fight compared to like Stripers or like a flathead catfish. Flatheads put up a pretty good fight. Channel cats really don't. They just kind of swim off a little bit. That's about it. But they're easy to tire out. But it makes it a little bit more fun. You got a shitty pull. And you're like really working it the whole way. But it also sucks too. Like if you got shitty line on there. It makes it such a pain in the ass when the line breaks. Like, that's why I'm changing all these up. Because last time I went fishing, <laughs> every time I fucking caught a fish, fucking line would break as soon as I get close to the dock because it was so, like, fragile. So, that was a turning point of redoing all the line. So, we'll go ahead and do it. I just got some crazy ass day job, too. Holy fuck. Y'all ever get crazy deja vu? Like, I just, it just hit me with some fucking crazy ass deja vu. I don't know why. It's always so weird. I always think deja vu is so fucking weird when you get it. You're like, I don't understand why it happens. It's so confusing. But I just got deja vu. I don't know if it's because I do this every single year around this same exact time or if it's like, I don't know. I just got deja vu like the whole atmosphere too, which is kind of weird because then you get deja vu doing the same thing. It was like deja vu like the whole atmosphere around me. I don't know. It's fucking weird. Alright, so I just got done restringing all these poles and I literally had the perfect amount of line to fill these up all the way. That is lucky right there. I'm gonna go and strain these through and rig them up. All right, guys, so I got all my poles rigged up. I'm gonna go ahead and go run up to the house. Coda's trying to race me up there, but I'm gonna go and run up to the house and grab some bait. Go ahead and bait those up. I got a fish feeder inside the dock, which is like a PVC pipe deal. Let's see if I can show y'all. That's the fish feeder right there, that plastic pipe. And it's like a T, and it's upside down in the water. It has holes in it. You fill it up, and fish like come up to it, eat the food out of it. But I like filling that up when I'm like I usually keep it filled up in the summer, the whole the whole uh, summertime, because it keeps the fish at my dock constantly. Never have to worry about it. But I'm gonna go and go fill that up. Go and cast some poles out, and uh. Go ahead and do some other shit in the meantime. All right, guys, I know y'all can't see too good. It's getting dark out, but got a gallon-sized bag of cat food I'm putting in the fish feeder. Got some good old hot dogs. I think I dropped the other pack somewhere. Oh, there's the other pack. Got two packs of hot dogs. I'm gonna go and rig up these poles, toss them out there. Throw some catfish, not catfish, but cat food in the fish feeder. Maybe we can have a little better luck with some bait out. So, uh, yeah, hopefully. Next time y'all probably see me, it'll probably be like way too dark to really see shit. But I'll have a light down here to shine on. Me, why, real men or whatnot. Alright guys, I know y'all can't see really anything, but 
there's trust me there's three poles out right there got the fish feed in the feeder i'm gonna walk up to the house and go relax for a minute and come back down here in probably 30 minutes or something like that check these poles hopefully i got something i'm not too sure how i'm gonna really show it on camera but i'm gonna try my best i want to see y'all guys hopefully soon i may just have to reel these in and just show you the fish once i get reeled in until I get someone else here to help me because I'm not sure I'm going to be able to shine a light and fish and do all this shit at the same time. I don't know. We'll figure it out, hopefully. Alright. Alright, guys. So I just walked the poles out overnight. It's the next day, obviously. But, uh, got a channel cap on one of these. For sure. I just pulled up the other two poles because everything is all tangled up. This is the one that felt like there was a fish on it. Yeah. I'm gonna go as in. Doesn't feel like it's too big. That's all sweet. It ain't big at all. It's a small one. I'm barking. There he is. Tiny little catfish. Maybe we'll catch a bigger one today. I'm gonna re rig up everything and toss them all out. I'm gonna get this hook out of him. He gutted it a little bit. He's still getting it out. There's a old guy right there. A little small one. Oh shit. A little small catfish, but uh, maybe we'll catch a big one. I think one of these other poles had one on it too, but I think it popped off. But I'm gonna go and get this hook out of his throat and toss these poles back out. All right, guys, so I got all the poles rigged back up. I'm gonna go and go run some errands I gotta do today. And I think Chase is coming over a little bit later. I don't know, maybe he'll call me while I'm out, hopefully. Just go pick them up. But uh, I'm gonna go and go run some errands I've been meaning to do. Because right now it's like quarantine shit going on. So I want to go and get this stuff done. In case not like a lot to leave the house or some shit. I don't know. But uh, yep. Probably these rigged up. Hopefully I'll, I'll probably catch another one today. Hopefully I'll catch one a little bit bigger. But uh. I think for the rest of the day, I'm gonna go work on my other truck, my Mazda, and uh, got a couple other things I need to do, so go work on those for the rest of the day. What's up guys, this is the next day right now. I'm not even sure this vlog is out anymore. I'm not sure what I've recorded, but we're just kinda going with it. But uh, so last night, me and my buddies, we're kinda fishing down here, caught like, three catfish yesterday and one carp and they were all pretty small i don't know we left the poles out last night and i came down here to check them out and one of them's got fish on it there's only two poles out and uh out of all the poles we had out we put last couple poles when we were fishing we just put them away when we were done and we left two poles out so i'm gonna go and check one of these because it has a fish on and I'm gonna see what it is. Hopefully it's fish and not a damn turtle. But uh, I'm gonna go and set the camera up and reel this puppy in. Let's see what we got here. Pretty damn big. God damn. Look at that fucking pole band. Sucks. My first thought about the dry guy's gonna just start shooting up. Jesus. Oh, yeah, that's big. That's a big cat. Damn, I haven't caught one this big in a while. Jesus, fuck. It's a good size. 
I'm gonna need a nap for this one. Boy, yeah, that's a big cat. You gotta eat the size right here. God damn. Y'all look at that fucking catfish. It's a big boy right there. There's my foot next to it. Pretty big. I don't know how many pounds that is. That's probably like, maybe like five pounds. I'm not really sure. I wish I had a scale. It's probably like four pounds, maybe four or five pounds. It's a good size cat. Dogs gotta check it out. Dakota, how's that catfish? Dakota, is that, is that a good catfish? Is that a good catfish? Oh, better watch out, he's gonna barbie. He's gonna barbie, Dakota. All right guys, let me get this hook out of this cat so that way you get him back in the water. Jesus. I won't be worried guys, these catfish can last a long time out of water, but I'm gonna get this guy free. It's a big cat. It's a big cat right there next to my dog. Fucker bit my finger, made it bleed. Oh, better watch out, go to. Hey, what's up, guys? So, I just was working on editing up the vlog, and I kind of realized I never really did an outro to the vlog, so I'm doing it right now. But, uh, and I was also gonna say, See if y'all want to see longer videos like I've been posting lately, or if y'all would rather see like these shorter types of like 10 to 15 minute long videos because that's kind of like what I used to do. But I'm kind of like going more towards the 30 minute videos and stuff because I don't know, I like them better because it's just more content in one video. I think I like myself, I like to watch longer YouTube videos, I just walk, finish watching them later, or whatever. But anyways, let me know if y'all even have a preference or not to how long the videos are. But uh, I was also going to say, I just went ahead and cut the video right here because the rest of the video is me working on the mods and stuff. And I'd rather just do a whole vlog in itself on that and not have like it just mix match with like, you know, a fishing video and then I got like a truck video. You know, I'd rather kind of like keep them separate. So I just figured I cut right here because I'm thinking about next week having the uh, Mazda video come out maybe sometime in the middle of the week or whatever. But make sure you uh, have your notifications on so that way the very few times I do post you do get notified because I used to have a lot of people that would constantly watch my videos. I don't know if they kind of outgrew my channel and they don't watch me anymore if like they're not even knowing that I'm posting again right now, so I have no idea. But anyways, hit the notifications if you wanna see my videos, the very few times I do post. But other than that guys, hope you guys like this video. Remember to like, comment, subscribe, hit the notifications. I'll see you guys later.